Welcome to our World of Fiery videos, covering topics of everyday importance to print providers. Today we will cover how easy it is to manage media in automated workflows such as presets, hot folders, virtual printers, and paper catalog on a Fiery server. Let's talk a little bit about paper stock and media management. There's really a few simple ways we can automate some of this stuff. So I think by now you've probably already gotten the impression that you don't want different operators in your shop or on different shifts having to pick the paper weight and the paper type and the imaging settings and the profile and the calibration set for every single job they print. So here's some strategies that we have on many DFEs, but particularly on the Fiery, that can help us to solve these problems. The first one is I can use a server preset. This is a preset that contains all the job settings. I can select it in a single click in the job properties, either from command workstation or in the driver workflow from printing to from the network. Okay? This works for fireys that are system 10 and later, and we can save it either on our local client, so only we can use it, or we can save it on the fiery server so that all the network can see it. This preset contains many, many details, but the ones I'm interested in is that it will specify the paper type, the paper weight, the profile and calibration set that's linked to it, and the imaging settings such as the halftone screen and the resolution to print at. Creating a preset is a simple matter of saying save preset, putting in a name, and then we just tell it whether we want it to be local on this machine or over on the server for the network to share. A second automated way of configuring my paper handling is to use hot folders. Hot folders in general are a very good way to automate your workflow, especially if you have some other workflow components that maybe want to create PDFs that need to be sent to the Fiery is a good example. You can just have whatever that workflow is, put the final PDF into the hot folder of the Fiery, and it goes to the Fiery directly. Okay? It can be set up to print immediately or to hold, and within the context of the hot folder, we can set the job properties. And you see here in this example, I used that same preset, that server preset I made. I can also pick to use for the hot folder to configure all the paper settings. Before we move on, I should also remind you that in a couple of these workflows, notably hot folders, can have pre-flight turned on so that jobs are automatically pre-flighted with the Fiery pre-flight tool before they are printed. Naturally, you have to have the pre-flight option on your Fiery in order for that to be accessible. Third way to automate this is with a virtual printer. Virtual printers are essentially network printers that have a specific set of job properties associated with them. This is really good if you have what we sometimes call a control P workflow, which is to say a number of users on your network that print to the Fiery from their applications by saying control P or command P on their machine or choosing print from the file menu. They're not typically going to be in command workstation to change settings. They're not typically going to be making PDFs or PostScript files they could drop on some hot folder. So the natural way to have them get the right settings for each paper is you put a couple virtual printers on the network. So they know when they have a job for the you know, heavy coded sheet, they print to the virtual printer called heavy coded. When they have a job for uncoded, they print to the virtual printer called you know, uncoded 24 pound or what have you. We can also automate pre-flight through the virtual printer workflow. This is an example of creating a virtual printer. I basically just go to my job presets, and there's a button here that will publish as it as a vir virtual printer. I can then go into that virtual printer I've created, and if I have the pre-flight option and I want to do that with my jobs, I can specify to pre-flight them in addition to using these exact settings. So as you see here, this is specifying the paper type and the paper weight. And if we dug down a little bit more into this configuration, you'd see the calibration, the profile, and the job properties for imaging. The last way we can do this, and the most sophisticated way to do this on the Fiery, is we use our paper catalog. The paper catalog is a centralized media management database. It's the most efficient way to both configure print settings for the paper, and in many cases, you can synchronize it with the press, so that when you load the heavy-coded paper in the press, you pick the paper catalog entry at the LCD screen where you're loading the paper, and that automatically tells the paper that, 
a particular tray or deck in that machine has the heavy coated. If I look at the fiery paper catalog and I look down into one of these settings, you'll see that part of the setting is to assign the output profile. Okay, so at the bottom here we see the, I go back here, we see the front color profile and the back color profile. Paper catalog is also the only way in which I can specify different profiles and calibrations for the front and back of a sheet. Why might I want to do that? Think about a C1S sheet, which is coded one side and uncoded on the other side. This is a way that I could print duplex on that sheet and get proper color management on both sides. One important thing to talk about, and one thing that's enabled by the FIRE, is a mixed media workflow. So this is the notion of having different papers pulled from different trays to print different components of a book, and then using some inline finishing stations that are part of our digital press to create final finished booklets. A couple of notes here. If you're doing mixed media workflows or you want to move to this kind of automated booklet manufacturing workflow, then you are best advised to use the paper catalog since you'll need different settings for the different papers that are in the press that are going into the book. You should also consider and be aware of engine adjustment time. If I'm printing a brochure that has a heavy coated cover and a plain uncoated, you know, 28 pound uh, guts, that is the contents of the book, I'm going to have a significant time, ch time delay between printed the coating and the coated and the uncoated sheets, simply because the press characteristics have to change. Mainly, that's the fuser that has to either heat up to print the coated sheet or be let to cool down before we print the uncoated sheet. Thank you for watching. For additional resources and e-learning classes on this topic, visit our website. To see all recorded sessions and register for upcoming World of Fiery webinars, please visit efi.com forward slash WOF webinars.